Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know this guy, Jake, and uh, this is your weekly update. Make sure you post this on all your platforms and um, get the word out. Jake, what are you doing? Man, I got ministry to do today, Crouch. I know this may look a little foreign to you as a teaching pastor. You know, you sit in your office and read all day, but sometimes ministry takes us outdoors. So today we're finishing up a roof for a shed for a couple out in Holly Lake Ranch. Got my working gloves on, got my hat to keep the sun off my ears. Ministry, man, it's not always about, you know, s s teaching and mm -hmm. preaching and all that. Sometimes you got to get out and you got to get your hands a little dirty. I love it. I love it, man. Uh, you do look goofy. I will say that. Uh, the hat and all that. So, uh, got to keep the sun off my ears. And you wore your best shirt, too. Uh, that, that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Hey, that's, that's a great thing. Jake and them are going out today helping someone in our church that um, they, they've had, had a rough season and uh, helping them finish up a project out there. And uh, that kind of brings me to what I was going to talk about at the end of our video today. And so I want you to hang tight just for a few minutes because we say this all the time. Ministry ramps up in the summer. Yes, it does. And um, we want to be ready for what God has for us. And so, Jake, what do you have for us before I kind of talk about that? Well, our youth ministry has a 5K coming up on June the 12th. Need to sign up for that. Man, even if you're not a runner, donate, sign up, walk it. You can walk it. Yeah, man. Yep. Uh, all that money's going to go send our youth kids to camp. We also are still in need of Kid Venture Live volunteers. And so, Email Ashley at Ashley at SummitHeightsFellowship.com or if you come to the services in person, there'll be a sign-up card in the seat back in front of you. So we desperately need that. It's part of the, the Ramp Up ministry. And so, uh, yeah, that 5K, man, that's a week from Saturday. And so, man, we want to see everybody out there. I'd love to see, like, all of Summit Heights out there. How cool would that be, Crowd? I'd love all, it, I'd love However it. many of us there are. Uh, Hey, and also preteen camp deadline is, I think, today or tomorrow. tomorrow. It's real close. I know that. After this, it goes up $10 ahead. And so make sure you get your kids registered. you got to do that online at Piney Woods and also through our website. It's kind of a two-step two process. We can't help that. They require that to be on their website yeah. and But uh, if you get us. in touch with Ashley, she'll, she'll walk you through yes. everything, send you Easy. a link. Everything. Ashley, Ashley's pretty awesome. Yeah, she, she, she is, dude. David can also get you signed up for youth camp. I know there is very limited spots yep. left on that. And so if you've not signed up for that, go on our website right now. Reach out to him and get that uh, signed up for that as well. You got anything else? Nope. Hey, Andrew Marshall, we announced a couple of weeks ago, it will be joining us as the new worship pastor at Summit Heights. He was here this last uh, Tuesday for staff meeting. He's working today to get ready for uh, worship practice tonight, and so really excited about that. Man, excited you should have seen Sunday. you should have seen the look in his face when I told him I couldn't sing this Sunday because I was I, building I this roof. I don't think he had any question you couldn't sing. I was like, dude, I can't make it. Can't make it to rehearsal I don't think Thursday. Any question about you can't sing. I'm doing ministry outside, man. You're gonna have to find somebody else. Yeah, he was crushed. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. Uh, so was Jeff and Danielle for the last two years. Yeah. I mean, it was been two years that you've not been able to sing. Well, it just hasn't worked out. I'm either could have gone. Been your whole life. It could be your whole life you've not been able to. Sing. I've had other commitments. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, so let me talk to you real quick about being ready. And you know, one of the things we talk about at Summit is ministry ramps up in the summer. And I was reading this morning in Matthew chapter 25, uh, just in my quiet time and praying and watching our offerings and watching what goes on. And in Matthew chapter 25, Jesus was given some parables about his return and him coming back and that we need to be ready. And, and I was reminded of the 10 bridesmaids that uh, had oil and five had oil, five didn't when the bridegroom came. And I was reminded this morning, we don't know what's coming up this summer. Just as two years ago, we didn't know what was fixing to happen at the beginning of the pandemic that took place. But because of your faithfulness, we were we were prepared. And and I want to challenge you that this summer, if you can see down below our feet, we're we're getting ready to go on vacation. Uh, we're going to the beach. And, not not us. No 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 no. My family and I. Um, I but, that, but you could go. But anyway. Out of the way. One of the things that I want to encourage you, I want you to go on vacation. I, we want you to enjoy time with your family this year, but let's be prepared. Continue to be faithful in your giving uh, this, this summer because we don't know the opportunities that God has for us this summer. And so I want us to be prepared. And just as those 10 bridesmaids uh, went out, five were ready, five weren't ready. 
And when the bridegroom came, the, those that weren't ready got left out. And so we don't want to be on the outside looking in of the opportunity that God gives us. And so I want to, I want to encourage you to be faithful. You can give three ways. You can give in an envelope. You can go online and set up a recurring gift, or you can text and give this summer. There's a lot going on, and we want to be ready. Just as you guys are going out to work today, the opportunities that could come up right now for us to minister to families and just be ready. Yeah. So I know one of the things for me, I'm a very forgetful person. Uh, and so what I like to do is set up the auto uh, on the online giving. And so I just, the first time I went on to the online giving, I just did a reoccurring. And so that same day of the month, when I know my paychecks hit, my tithe or offering, whatever you want to call it, like how my hands are doing that. Yeah, it yeah. Just re it just, it's You're just good. a reoccurring. Yeah. So even if I'm out on a beach in Florida or something like that, I'm it's like, oh man, I still got to get. <laughs> it did it itself. Yeah. So okay. yeah, just just a simple way. Just be ready because I, I really believe God's got some incredible things for us this summer and to the fall of things that we've been praying. I hope you've been praying. God, make me bold this week uh, to to. Oh, make They're me bold? Bold. I thought you said make me bald. No, you're I was like, dude, you're way ahead of the game. I know. I know. It's Crud, right. I've been praying the wrong oh, prayer gosh. all week. Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, I was wondering why he wasn't answering. Make me bold. Okay. Bold. Okay. Hope you've been praying that this week. Be bold in your giving. Be bold in the gospel. Whatever God's calling you this week, be bold. We're going to take our next step in that double dog dare you prayer this Sunday. I'm really excited about that. Andrew and I have been planning for the, the end of the service, so I'm not going to tell you what that looks like. Uh, just make sure you're here. If you're joining us on our online platforms, make sure you share that on Sunday morning as you join us. If you're on vacation somewhere or you're still at home, uh, join us with that. Share that this week. Summit, we love you. Be faithful. Be ready. Be prepared. Sunday's coming, 10 o'clock. Share this on your platforms. We'll see you Sunday.